Hello and welcome to 15 Minute Game. And my name is Tony, and this is a review on the screen recorder I use. Now, there's going to be another video following this, which covers all the screen recorders I've used and pros and cons of them, and why I've stopped using them, what they were useful for. And you know, hopefully, it'll help some people who want to get involved in YouTube and recording their videos. Maybe a little guidance because some are free, some are paid for. This one is the one I use now. This is paid for and it is easily the best I have ever used. It is fantastic. It's called Action. It's by a company called Marillis. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's around about $29.99 if you get it on Steam or £40 if you get it on their website. I don't know why you would go to their website. But never mind. There's also two versions as well as a home and an office as well. So basically one is for office and kind of like commercial use. So if you're going to make money out of it, monetize your videos, that sort of thing. And the other one is for home use. The one on Steam is the commercial version. So it means you can record videos and put them on YouTube, which is fantastic. Now, why this is so good, it has everything you could need and a brilliant user interface as well. It is fantastic, it is just so good. It does exactly what I need. When I was looking for a screen recorder, I was like, oh my God, I'm getting so sick of screen recorders failing and not working and not offering the features I want. So. Let's have a little look around this screen. So as you can see there, we have a timer. I also have a timer down in the bottom left-hand corner as well. Um, this overlays on the screen, which you can't see. We're going to talk about that later on. So this is your home screen. You have four methods of recording. You have game footage. You have current active screen. So if I hover over it. We have screen area, which if I click on, it'll stop this recording. So we're not going to. And also input as well. So I can record direct from my PlayStation, for example, I can record just this screen. So if I just wanted to record just this screen area here, I could. Now, why I'm not doing that right now is because it won't record the action screen. Because obviously it's going, well, why would you want the action screen when you're supposed to be recording part of your screen? Which is a very fair point. So I was like, oh, I can't bother. It just kept, it just, I just couldn't get to do it. Um, but a lot of indie games I play don't necessarily come in full screen. And this is a godsend. Because there's nothing worse than when I've had to not do a video, stop a video or whatever. Because it shows the desk bar or part of the screen or whatever. So that you just draw where you want it on your screen. Press record and it'll record, apart from this screen, anything that is in that area. So you game footage or anything like that. Fantastic as well. You've got two methods of saving as well. You've got MP4 and AVI. So MP4 is the lowest format. So basically your videos for about half an hour will be around about 6 gig. It's just, you know, the normal rate of compression. You can also play it in multiple players. You can also record AVI, which is top quality recording as well. Um, it's a little bit better than MP4, but the video files are around about 30 gigabyte, believe it or not. I recorded one at half an hour and it was 45 gig. Um, you can also hardware acceleration using your card. Um, you can record different video sizes. You can set frame rate as well. So if you even want to slow that video down more, maybe a 30 or even slow motion as well, you can do that. You can even set minimum duration times as well. So if you want the video to cut off after 15 minutes, like I should, <laughs> It can do that. You can record the microphone, always record, push to talk, that sort of thing. You can have the webcam on and you can record applications as well. You can go live. So we can enable live streaming. Uh, sound wise, which is what I needed this for, and it'll be covered in my other video, is that you can record where you want that sound file to come from. So I was having problems with um, it not working properly. So it wasn't picking up wave format on uh, the GeForce one. Shadow play. Um, this allows me to select wave, so fantastic. I can also set a duration. I can set microphone always record. I can have multiple channel recording. I can record silence or not record silence, and I can even save my audio file different from my video file if I want to check my own levels. So that is fantastic as well. Uh, benchmarking, so it'll look at your games, that sort of thing. Uh, there's my spec there. Um, I'm glad there was no numbers on there. And it'll even look at it and go, all oh, right, okay, so you want to benchmark that game, you can do benchmarking inside there. You've got webcam um, on there as well. Uh, you can see two I was playing around with earlier on, just taking screenshots even of, uh, you know, just see how screenshots worked. Um, screenshots, you can save them different things. Sorry, I thought it was webcam, it's screenshots. And also some settings as well. This is where you, so you can have all these different settings. 
Uh, we're going to look at webcam though, is the one I'm going to look at. So, this has built in chroma key settings. So, what that means is if you have a green screen, you can have it set so that it will automatically put the green screen out and just have you on the webcam in your game how amazing is that like usually you've got to find separate things to do that nope just one piece of software it's on you can add your alpha mask everything just like you can do on adobe and stuff like that so yeah you can just click a button and it's done you've got quite a few options on here running different things um so yeah it just basically goes through you've got so much you can control on there um but webcam is the thing and you can set the size where it is and what it's doing um the thing i was telling you about uh that tells me the screen recording is this so it has six different start locations as well which is two more than i've ever seen on any other one you can show free disk space viewing statistics webcam preview you can show it you can not show it you can have it recording and that little screen shows you the frames per second when it's recording a timer and how much disk space you have left now you might be thinking why do you want to know how much disk space you got left the amount of times i've lost a video because i didn't have enough disk space on my spare disk drive is incredible so that is a godsend and also the timer i don't have to have a stupid stopwatch in front of me anymore i can just sit here and have the timer so you know when i'm recording videos i can be like ah well, that's the thing. I can now check and see what I'm doing. I don't have to sit there with a timer anymore. It's just great. Um, it's reminded me to keep my videos shorter and more precise. And I'm stopping them at the right time rather than going on for 35, 40 minutes because I'm getting involved with the game. I can see it and go, ah, damn it, it's on 15. Um, the only downside with it is in the various locations, um, it can block things on games and you have to come out the recorder to move it. Ugh, that's one thing I would a little bit annoying with i maybe wish it was maybe a little bit more see-through or if you moved your mouse towards it it went see-through or something because you know you can't dictate where a game is going to have some important information um so you know like certain games i play like strategies might be something really important on any one of these parts of screens like the map's probably going to be there mini map and some things are probably going to be there and you know like that is quite an important feature so yeah i just wish maybe a little bit different on that but apart from that you know worst case come out the game move it and crack on or just move it entirely you don't need it there anyway it just tells you that the game's recording um so that is such a good feature um it's also got an inbuilt video player so basically if i want to view a movie i recorded earlier so i can just click on there um, right, you, you wanna go, uh, and there you go straight away i've got access to my videos just to see them from in here i can do them by date by size whatever it's just fantastic and then along here i can open it i can delete the stuff i can look in the folders i can upload it directly to youtube or to facebook with a click of a button if I was on Facebook that would be great uh, YouTube I always try and edit my videos to make them a little bit smaller anyway so you know that's something I probably wouldn't use but it's always handy to have um this also has a app with it as well you can control and start your recordings and timings and everything from the app on your phone and that is free how cool is that like not many recording softwares if any have that feature built into it as well so this just goes above and beyond what i need for recording but everything is so perfect in it like it's just incredible that the amount of stuff you can do it's really easy it's nothing complex on here there's nothing to trip you up it's not like obs or obs or whatever you want to call it that's so many bloody options you sit there going oh, well, what do i do i'm also gonna use obs when i stream because it's just it works really well for streaming apparently this doesn't but i'm not gonna try because you know I, mean, I don't really stream very often anyway um but yeah this is easily the best recording software i've used i said following this the next few days is going to be another video covering different aspects of all the other screen recorders that i've worked what i've not liked about them and that sort of thing um and why i've stopped using them but i can highly recommend if you're looking to get into youtube and yes there are free options out there just splash the cash a little bit this really really does cover i was looking between this bandicam and duxley or doxley or something like that um but this for me when i looked at the screenshots read some reviews looked at some youtube videos and they're quite hard to come about there's the odd one or two um there's a lot of comparisons and stuff like that but 
just talk to me. I just, you know, that's why I've done this. I just want someone to talk to me and tell me what the features are. It's feature rich. It works really well. My videos quality seems to have gone up as well. The quality recording because I can select what quality I want to record. Um, I'm recording more. It's easier. It's just really, really good. I think it's just a fantastic piece of software, and I can highly, highly recommend it. And yes, twenty nine ninety nine might seem a little bit expensive that's your lifetime license as well with all the updates and that sort of thing so i just don't understand why you wouldn't um so yes that's marilla's action head on the website or head on to steam it's on there just type in action on there and it'll come up and i hope this video has been informative and i will catch you later goodbye